Good girl. Okay, today is November 20th. This will be our third day of taking our little friend, Coco Hill. Little friend Coco for a ride in a car. I'm control trying to control things ahead of time. Sit, Coco. Good. Uh, we're relaxed. We're going to see if she's a little bit better in the car today. All right, now we're going to attempt to order my good friend Coco a cheeseburger this morning. Um, I think she'll like that. However, this is going to be the holy grail of car aggression, right? We're going to be having noises come out of a box, people reaching in the window. So uh, we're going to see how this goes. As you can see in the back, she's nice and relaxed thus far. And uh, I'm assuming when she hears noises, she's going to come up for, oh, she already has. So she's investigating. Everything's got to stay relaxed. If I start tightening up on this, she's already come forward, so she knows something's cooking here. And I don't know where we're going to go with this stuff. Good girl. So as soon as, as I said yesterday, movement, any movement, just the car windows moving. Watch her head. Stop. She doesn't know, so that's an animal. To some dogs, that's movement that they have to stop. They stop it by attacking it or barking at it. So just the movement of the windows. Yes. Uh, two cheeseburgers off the dollar menu. Uh, we don't have cheeseburgers right now. Not until 1130. All right. One so uh, two, uh, two sausage McMuffins. Anything else? No, ma'am. All right. So two Thank you. Now understand, a speaker is a voice from outer space. The same thing that she does. They don't understand any of this. I don't even understand it. I don't understand why I don't have cheeseburgers at McDonald's. That's what I don't understand. We're pulling up to the window, and this is where problems can arise. I'm trying not to restrain her. Good girl. Good. Hi. Quiet. 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 Good. 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 Quiet. Good. Be good. Good girl. Quiet. Good. 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 Good, thank you. So, a little better. Better, third time. I'm not rewarding her with the food. She, I just want her, I'm actually correcting her firmly. I'm not giving her treats to shut up. That would have the reverse effect. Stop. Hi, how are you? Quiet. No, no. Thanks. Stop. All right, wasn't perfect. Slightly better. We have our food. And you know, the other thing is obviously, it's just difficult. I'm driving, I'm ordering. All right, today again is a little after breakfast. So now we decided, because that wasn't the best experience, but I do believe as Camille would uh, reinforce that it's better than it has been. So here he is, we're at the train station. Video around, there are people all around. The man's coming up behind me. <laughs> Good, I can control him with my voice a little better. He does get anxious. Quiet. Good girl. And watch as people come. Hopefully, good girl. So you see his ears are up and he's on high alert, which we don't like. Watch when I hit the window. So that little window. Now, if this was taken care of when he, obviously, when he was six months old, seven months old, this would be not a problem. But now he's, uh, she's, how old? I don't even know. And we're trying to deal with all this phobia. And he just, so when we go bring a dog home, just think of this. Just this little movement of a clear glass window is enough to put the dog in, in, in some state of anxiety. And as I said yesterday, I had dogs that attack windows, very similar to vacuum cleaners. And then what 90% of my clients, when I ask them, what do they do when the dog attacks the vacuum? They say they either A, stop vacuuming, so duh. Now the dog has killed the vacuum, not the vacuum, the monster that lives in its closet. Or two, it has uh, the husband take the dog for a walk, or husband or wife, somebody re removes the dog. <laughs> so in either case, the dog has w been rewarded for attacking the vacuum cleaner. So, uh, and you can just see on a, such a simple level, this is everything. This, the windows here are just like your doorbell at home. It's a signal to the dog that there's a change in the environment. Change in the environment. So obviously, as I think I said yesterday, my plan is to just feed him in the car. He gets his meals, he never eats anywhere but in here. 
and we'll see how this process goes. I mean, for three days, um, we're not doing so bad. Sir, do you know what time the next train comes, or you're not really? I just left. Oh, it just pulled out? Every hour. Every hour? This is the electric, goes straight into the... It's a, thank you. So now, I can engage in some conversation. The man's 15, 20 feet away. Two days ago, we couldn't get any, have any uh, form of conversation like that. So again, it's a process, and when people say again, can you fix it? I'm trying to make it better. I'm not, I don't, I don't know if I'm ever gonna fix this. I think with the prop, and, and the, the worst problem is, I think I'm gonna fix it for myself. Me, Mike Gould, and Camille is gonna be fixed. But the adopted people, they're gonna get them, and he's, it's gonna st start out with a growl, or just not even. His ears are gonna come up, and he's gonna run towards something. She's gonna run towards something and they're not gonna correct her. I'm keeping the leash on and correcting her. This is huge. And it's not necessarily followed by food. And this is where food, in my mind, is misunderstood. A lot of training methods are misunderstood. You could click here with a clicker till the cows come home on it. The other day, you could have sat here with a clicker and clicked till your thumb fell off. That was dog was not, this dog, uh, Coco, was not gonna respond to the clicker. And you have to be so careful with it. So the dog has to respond to a voice, right, babe? You're a good girl, Coco, and she's gonna get relaxed. Good girl. So the, the premise is if I sat here for the next two years, now somebody's coming up behind us, I'm gonna open the window, and there's somebody right by the, 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 the door, and I'm flicking the windows. Good, very nice. It's not easy, nobody said this is easy. This is why books on dog training don't work. How are you gonna describe in a chapter of a book how to do this? You have to see it, you have to feel it, and you have to understand it. You have to understand what's going on. It's all based on fear. That doesn't look like fear, right? When she's going to bite the window, it doesn't look like fear, but she's afraid. Here comes somebody now. Uh, uh, Coco, leave it. Good girl, good. Uh, uh, good, good girl, good girl. Now somebody just picked up a little baby outside. Good girl. And then look at Coco with the kids going behind. All right. I think you got the point of this. It's a process. It's not training the dog to do something. In this case, it's in this case it's desensitizing a dog of a fear. Today is the 22nd of November. We're going to go get gas with this lunatic affectionately known as Coco, who has proven to be uh, a handful. Right, babe? Yeah. I'm gonna try to get gas, which has been a challenge in the pit. Mm -hmm. Stop. Stop. <laughs> What's so funny, Camille? Girl over Girl. Girl. I, think, I, I can tell. I think the one in the back, the lady in the back said she's gonna pay for the gas. You said $20, sir? Yes, sir. Good, this is working out nice. You got me down for 20, right? Thank you. Good. Stop. All right, that wasn't bad. It's, again, am I happy about this? Would I like him to be? Stop. Good. Good dog. And I'm gonna praise him. You got any more biscuits? <laughs> no. Take All right, that's fine. And I'm gonna ask him some questions to keep him here a little longer, but in the meantime, I gotta remember to be relaxed and to correct the dog when he gets all worked up. And is this the way I'd like it to be? I wish I corrected him once a week ago and this would be the end of it, but it's, he has a, the learning curve here on Coco is, is significantly steep. Hmm. We'll see what happens a couple more of these sessions. I think clearly they're getting better. They're not, unfortunately, and this is the dog training. It's not simple, it requires patience. And the theory would be if we did this a thousand times and he gets corrected every time he acts out and he gets a reward every time he behaves in the form of, in this case, food, it should go away at some point. Okay, thank you.